Good morning, Shamble Dogs. I'm David Albuquerque, and we're back with your Shambles in the News. Today is Friday, January 26th, and let's start things off with sports. Shambly Wrestling will have their county tournament this Saturday. Good luck to our wrestlers. And Shambly Boys and Girls Varsity Basketball will play their next game on Tuesday, January 30th against Southwest Cab here at home. Good luck to our Shambly sports teams, and go Bulldogs. Now we're going to take a short commercial break. <music> Georgia Southern University is the state's largest and most comprehensive center of higher education south of Atlanta, with 119 degree programs at the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral levels. Georgia Southern has been designated a Carnegie Doctoral Research University and provides the classic residential ex campus experience and online learning options. Georgia Southern's nationally accredited acam academic programs prepare diverse scholars for leadership and service as world citizens. Faculty, staff, and students embrace core values expressed through integrity, civility, kindness, collaboration, and a commitment to a lifelong learning, wellness, and social responsibility. With so many wonderful opportunities, consider applying to Georgia Southern today. Recently, DeKalb County announced that for second semester, all students would be receiving a Chromebook laptop. We asked some students and teachers how they felt about the Chromebooks and DeKalb's initiative. I think they're a good idea for the students. You know, it's going to help us be able to use stuff like USA Test Prep and stuff at home easier. Uh, I feel like the Chromebooks are going to be very beneficial and they're going to help the classes out a lot in education. I think it'll make it much easier to turn in and keep up with assignments and get notifications about when assignments are due. I'm pretty excited about it actually. Um, I want to get my own. I heard it's touch screen and like you can put it into tablet mode so. Hi guys. I think it's a good resource that some people could find very useful for their uh, academic life at Chambly. I mean, this is how business is done across the world and to, to get students used to that as well as faculty and, and fully integrated into it is, I mean it's whether you like it or not, it's the, it's the future and so I'm, I'm totally good with it. I am cautiously optimistic. There's so much more monitoring that needs to be done, but if the Chromebooks come with the ability for teachers to be able to monitor as students are on the computer, then I could see it as a positive. We also asked if they thought there was any drawbacks, especially considering the price tag of the project. It's kind of a liability though, just by how much it costs. Just for some students who are, like they break it and they can't really afford to like fix it up again you know, or replace it, that's it. I don't think that spending 27 million was a good idea because I think the system that we have now is actually pretty good. Maybe the county should have just given Chromebooks to the students who needed computers at home. Uh, I feel that they could have spent the 27 million dollars better, but the Chromebooks was a pretty good option. Uh, I, I live like in Stone Mountain, so I know there's a lot of other districts that have like really poor facilities and like their schools should be remodeled so I feel like 27 million can be spent elsewhere. I mean I'm not gonna complain. DeKalb's in a position where they're competing publicly with other school districts that are doing the same thing. So for them to step back from it when all the other districts are doing the one-to-one -one, um, would be a difficult position to justify out in the public. We also asked some teachers how they were planning to integrate the Chromebooks into their lesson plans. Yes, I, I've actually I started talking to colleagues about it and, and the opportunities to, um, it, it, it just, it gives more flexibility. It will take some time to get used to it because um, old traditions die hard. Yes, eventually. It's going to be a slow process. I've been teaching AP Econ for over 10 years, so I do have a rhythm to my lessons, um, but I would be interested in seeing how I can incorporate the uh, computer. So. I got you. Oh, heck no. I am honest. I am a friend. I am a student.
I. 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 Am Shamley. In recent years, there has been a social network takeover on society. There are varying opinions on whether the effect has been positive or negative. On the bright side, people are able to advocate for good causes they believe in, like fundraisers. Also, there are social media sites that build a sense of empathy and togetherness. If you are suffering from a specific problem, such as cancer, you can find sites that show that you are not alone and that you can get through this. Unfortunately, social media can be detrimental to society. Cyberbullying is a large problem because people close to the victim can anonymously attack the person through social media, leading to depression and a sense of loneliness. Productivity also decreases. Whether it be at work or when you are just trying to finish a project, social media can be a large distraction. This is because it is easier to post selfies on Instagram than it is to use your time wisely and finish science fair. Overall though, social media is a positive advent of the 21st century. It allows for more job opportunities, better communication, a sense of togetherness, and even money raised for the less fortunate. Hopefully these negative qualities can be phased out throughout the next- DeKalb County has officially decided to make up two of the four inclement weather days. On February 16th, that's President's Day weekend, and March 9th, that is a teacher work day, we will now have school. So we'll have a five day week before President's Day and a five day week in March. Finally, your quote of the day, you are your only limit. That's all for today, Bulldogs. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday.